Isn't it interesting that the Vercelli Seafood Plant is located so close to your restaurant yes. now, right in Egg Harbor Township? Well, yes, and I can work there on Sundays. Yes, you can, <laughs> on your day off. Uh, I'm the cry vet guy. Absolutely. <laughs> Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Tina Marie, and today we're working with a variety of delicious seafood from Rustelli mm -hmm. with our friend Tony Clark from Old Grange Restaurant in Cape May, New Jersey. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. And Chef Joe, who is also right. at your restaurant. Yes, he is. Your other half. Well, Bottom sort of half. Bottom half. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that works. That yeah. works. So, Rustelli Seafood. Tell Amazing. me a little bit about it and Amazing what you've been doing product. with it at the restaurant. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's such a great available product that, again, that you cannot, you know, just buy at the supermarket. How about the quality, Tony? It's first rate. It's what I use. Exemplary. I mean, look at these clams. I mean, we're in clam country down there, and it's, this is a great place to get these clams. So. Absolutely. So, where are we beginning? We're going to steam some... Um, Clams off for the, uh, the clam and multiglata broccoli rabe pasta. Clam I, and multiglata. You like the way I say that? Yes, I do. For an Irishman? Yes, huh? I, I was very impressed. I know, yeah, just roll the off your tongue like that. I just got to use a little bit of this when yeah, I do yeah. it. More uh, hands. Uh, what do you think, Joe? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, look yeah, at Joe. Yeah. He's not so uh, willing yeah, to give the compliments, uh, no, no, Joe. Easy. So we take so a little chili pepper. Some fresh red pepper. Mm -hmm. Some slivered garlic, Slim. right? Good fellow's garlic. Yes. And these are Rustelli clams. Yes, they're beautiful. Perfect. So we're just gonna put them in this pan. Okay. Steam them up. I love steaming clams. Reminds me of my youth. My youth. These two youths. Okay, so what we're gonna do is add a little white wine and a little bit of stock. Is that seafood stock or chicken stock? It's a, a neutral stock, like a chicken. Like a light, vegetable a light stock? chicken. Now we're gonna do the mussels. And the mussels are going to be with a chorizo ch sausage and some uh, saffron rice, which Joe is going to start cooking. Oh, nice combination. Saffron rice. This is kind of like sausage a... Sausage and mussels. Almost yeah. like a paella a little uh, bit. A little bit. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of uh, garlic. I love that sound. A little chilies. Sizzle garlic. Sort of like the same technique as the clam, so you could all be right. also using white wine. Right, and I'm going to take a little bit of tomato oh, garlic. tomato. Some white wine. You put the tomatoes whole in there, Tony. Are, are you going to eventually crush well, them well, up to make well, a sauce? I think as it starts cooking, they'll break up a little bit. But I like the rustic. Like I don't like it so beautiful. Like me, I like it a little rough. You know, a little, little tried and weary. At least you're honest, Tony. Well, you know, I've been. Right. You know, I'm not fooling anybody. No. So that's why we love you, Tony. Thank you, love. Okay, so. We got the mussels and the clams a brewing. Joe over here is cooking our saffron rice. Right, right. and this is with a chorizo sausage. What I like to do here with this uh, how, yeah, how do you like saffron to cook rice? The, well, the I, I want to do it almost like a risotto style. Okay. But with regular rice. So I have a little bit of this. I'm going to put a little cheese. And Joe's going to put the sausage in the rice. When you say you like to cook it like a little bit of a risotto style, does that mean you like to cook it for a longer time? It's just like a creamy, uh, uh, like a creamy rice. Right. Okay. What kind of Ristelli seafood products do you use in the uh, restaurant? Well, I, I love their, uh, the, all the fish. I mean, all, everything that they have here, I, I love. I um, use the whole fish most of the time. And uh, the clams and the mussels, we, we use it. It's much more uh, cost effective. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take a little bit of shallots here. Do you have a seafood pot pie on your menu? Yes, I do. You, is that sort of like a, a Yeah, a and that has a lot dish? of stuff from the Rosellis too. We use all the local, it's called Cape May Seafood Pot Pie, so we use a lot of the local fish. So, and it's very famous. We do, do a shrimp canal, a half a lobster, uh, some mussels, some clams. Um, we do uh, pieces of fish like mai mai yeah. and stuff like that. So. It's a nice array of fish and a pot pie. You do a nice yeah, crust a nice pot on top? pastry. No, actually, it's a free form. It's actually like a piece like this. Oh, okay. Sits on top, and then we have a lobster head garnish. So that's staying. That 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 dish is definitely staying. Oh, well, until right? in, yeah. Well, until, I don't know. You know me. I get tired. Until you get tired. I, I don't know. So the mussels are doing good. Great. You see up. Some, several of them see have already they opened. open up real nice and fresh. And you want them to open. You want a, a hard steam. When you cook mussels and clams, because define what a hard steam well, is. Well, it's a nice raging uh, aggressive, steam. right? Because okay. you want them because they're sitting there, and you want them to pop open. And we're just going to put the rice here. You can see what you said about the consistency. It definitely is creamier. Mm -hmm. These here, we gotta shake. What does the shaking do? 
I don't know. It looked like a good idea. We'll find out, right? It looked like a good idea. <laughs> I love it. You're so honest, Tony. We love it. I don't know. It. I don't know. So we're going to move this over to Joe. When they open up, Joe's going to remove most of about 90% of the clams out of the shell. Cooked something from the show? Went to a restaurant that you loved? Found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of the Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. We're back with more from Rostelli Foods. Okay, so now. Oh my goodness. Like now look the how, aroma is. And look how beautiful they are. Fabulous. You know, and these are the, the right size, they're clean, uh, they have no beards or nothing like this. This makes it so That's easy for you. That's what struck me initially when I saw the clams, or the mussels, how incredibly clean they were. Well, you don't really get this look in a grocery store no, when you're no. buying seafood. You don't buy the stuff in grocery stores. I don't know why they have seafood markets and meat markets, I don't know why. It's, it's more like for cattle and pigs and chickens, that's what they have in there, if you ask me. You know, I've heard, I've heard people say who are customers of Ristelli that it makes their food shopping so simplified, they don't even have to go to the seafood department anymore or to the meat department well, when anymore. You, when you can get something that's good compared to something that's not, you're going to get something that's good. Your family deserves quality. And, and you know, it's a shame what the, these stores do to people by taking advantage of them. Well, as consumers, you know, we really don't know any better. No. It, you know, interestingly enough, what we feel we're getting is the best is not necessarily so. And to have someone like you say that, well, that this product is the best. But you know, and I'll tell you, there, there's been markets that really try to do things, uh, try to say they have a good quality, and then, you know, they do, and then a couple times later you come back and it's a totally different product. Well, Rostelli has certainly filled a great need for consumers. Okay. okay, so you added a lot of butter a to lot? our Is to our muscle. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. A good amount. Oh, I didn't know. A, a generous. Oh. How about we say a generous the, amount I, of butter? I'd say it's the right amount of the butter. The right amount. Okay. Okay, so I see you're you're making it into like a little chunky right. sauce. Mm -hmm. Grilling our bread. Well, it's just warming it up until I'm ready to stand over top of it and go. Da, da, da. Victor so, Orsini, hey. nice to you? have you here. Nice to see you, Tina. Welcome to the chef's Chef. Chef. Okay. How are What's you? Up, Hi. Nice to see huh? you again. Thanks a lot for bringing oh, the good please. stuff. Oh, huh? yeah. huh? well, please. Do you have the smoke list out of New Jersey? The Not at all. It's all good, too. You should tax those guys. <laughs> it's all <laughs> good. So let's talk about seafood, Victor. Now, I know Rostelli originally started out with meat. Mm -hmm. And then you said a few years back there about was a need. A, yep. A few years back, we acquired a company and we took our same philosophy that we take toward with our beef and our pork and we wanted to bring that into the seafood. So we contract with uh, fishermen, aqua farmers, all over the world, from the Pacific Rim right in, in, the, in the Atlantic, right in New Jersey. Mostly and we, in New Jersey, right? right. And we a get, Township. Absolutely, and we get the best product available and sell it to guys like Tony, and now we sell it to the consumer direct in the house. And so how convenient is it, Tina Marie, yes. to be able to get it right at your door? Please, I, I know that for a fact. I, it's, it's amazing. Right at your doorstep, directly to your freezer. Really? It's packaged so neatly, taking into account the fact that you have to defrost it, so it's double packed and plastic so that when it does defrost in your refrigerator, there's absolutely no mess. It's amazing. And you know, there's not a day goes by where I get a call from or a visit from a professional chef telling us how great things are. And there's not a day go by that uh, we get phone calls from consumers saying, this stuff is just ridiculously awesome. How about so. the portion control too in the way that it's packaged in that the, it, you can you can make maybe two pieces of salmon or mahi mahi, or if you wanted to make the the whole batch, you could. Yeah, and and you know if you keep it in the cry vac, keep it in the freezer, you're going to get a year shelf life on that too. Although we want you to eat it right away. Right away. Now, so. why is Rostelli Seafood superior to that which we get in, in the supermarket? Well, it's because of the standards that are set by Tony and Ray. Their standards are way up here. And that's just all there is to it. The same, like I said, the same philosophy that they have towards uh, the core business is what we've introduced into the seafood business. And in a few short years, we've become a leader in the seafood business with chefs all across the country. All right. I'll see you later we on. This smells amazing. Oh, I can't please. wait to taste. Thanks, Victor. Bye. Okay, Tony, so what do we have going on here? Okay, now we started the uh, multiglata pasta with uh, the clams. The multiglata pasta, I was admiring that before the show. Was that what this was right over yes. here? Tell me a little bit about that. It's called Ugly Cut. Ugly cut. It was the pasta that the, when the pasta make it, maker uh, made a mistake it, and it fell on the floor, 
and you take it home to his family. It almost resembles a lasagna noodle right. in its shape. It's just all different cuts. And the color, the color throughout. There's a little bit of color yeah, in there? Yeah, we put a little basil in there. Oh, OK. So you make this yes. in the restaurant? Mm -hmm. Very We dry very it in the, in, the, in the kitchen. And it's, since it's down shore, it dries fast, you know, it's so hot in there. So. Um, no doubt, especially, you know, right about now. And and I, I should be like 110 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> a few more months, I'm sure you will be. So we have a little bit of uh, broccoli raw. Right. A little bit of clams. So you put the pasta right in. Right. With George Perrier, with, you know, I remember him, I was watching one show he was done. Yes. Never wash pasta, never. Never wash yeah. pasta? Tina Marie, you know why you never wash pasta. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> huh? It's a great. French accent no, it's not mixed that great. with that little South Jersey no, no. accent it's that not you that great. <laughs> Some more butter. The right amount of butter. Mm. Stay tuned for more from Rostelli Direct. When you go on the Rostelli Direct website, you choose from about 200 different items you'd like to have delivered and within three to five business days, that product's delivered right to your door. Our product comes vacuum packaged in a resealable bag with a label that identifies exactly what it is with ingredients, nutritional facts, and in a lot of cases, a recipe that makes it very simple for you. Eugene. Hi, Tina. Nice to have you here in the chef's Good. kitchen. Good. Nice to see you. Now, I know hey, you. Hey, Gino. You have What's cooking, brother? Everything, cooking. Everything. A lot of things are cooking, thanks to you, Tony. Right. Now, I know that you have some wines for yes, us. Yes, I have a beautiful white wine that we're going to taste here. This, this wine is from our website, and uh, these are wines that are featured currently with Rostelli Direct. Excellent. And uh, will be available to your doorstep. And we're going to match the foods with the wine instead of matching the wines with the foods. Just so very convenient. Yes. And so yes. consumer friendly. Convenient, still with the, uh, with the gourmet touch. Yes. So you're essentially going to be doing the work for us in selecting. All these wines are hand selected uh, and again, completely organic. Mm -hmm. So this is an organic Pinot Grigio from uh, Montepulciano in central Italy. Very good. Now, not only European wines do you have, correct? Wines from all over the world will be featured uh, with uh, Rostelli Direct. Gentlemen, shall we take a little break? Take a taste? To a busy day in the chef's kitchen. It smells wonderful. Mm. Nice and crisp. Fresh. I, I'm sure this is going to taste beautiful with that's our the, uh, dinner. That's the organic. That's, mm -hmm. that, that's the difference between regular wines and organic and you wines. You said no sulfates? No sulfates, no mechanized machinery on the property, all natural, all hand-picked. In keeping with Rostelli's tradition of excellence yep. and on every level. Everything. Uh, organic food and organic wine. You couldn't get a perfect match. No, it is perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And we will see you again at the tasting. Thank you. Okay, Tony, so how are we making out now okay, with Okay, now our we are, Giuseppe and I are making um, Giuseppe. the tempura, uh, tilapia tempura. So, okay, so we take a uh, mayonnaise, mayonnaise mm -hmm. sriracha. Tilapia tempura. Mm-hmm, and with sriracha mayonnaise. Very hot. Spicy. A little hot. Arriba. <laughs> now again, is this a dish that you have at, on the menu? Some similar to it. I want to put a little lime in there. Because you are located so close to the Atlantic Ocean, do you have yeah. a lot of people who want seafood uh, on we, your menu? We, um, we sell a lot of seafood, but... Uh, we, we, you know, our local people, like, um, you know, we have a, t a terrace major and we do a nice pork and, mm -hmm. you know, we do sell meats, but uh, I knew the day I put crab cakes on, I was going to sell crab cakes. Yes. And we do sell crab cakes. Yes, I a don't lot of doubt crab it. Cakes, but it's I good, you know, it. that's what people come for. Whatever they want, they can they get. Yes. There you go, Joe. So now what is Joe doing over here? He's just uh, frying the... Oh, um, this is the tilapia. Yes, it's a... It's like a julienne of tilapia, and now I'm just getting my pan ready for the mahi-mahi. Um, mm -hmm. These are just peeled cherry tomatoes. Okay. And cucumbers. I love peeled cherry tomatoes. And you just drop them in hot boiling water? For about 30 seconds. And I, I count. Scoot them out, and the skin yeah, that, just that probably, probably just comes right off, You have to right? score them a little bit oh, so you, you can pre-do pre, pre them. All right, Joe, so you're just going to put your... Uh, and pour in there and see if you can get some, uh, uh, some more. Okay. So we just take a little bit of this. So now what are you adding to those cucumbers? This is a sage vinaigrette. Very nice. That I make. 
Just a little olive oil right. and vinegar. And what kind of vinegar do you put uh, Sherry in? wine vinegar. Okay. Now the tomatoes, I like to leave room temperature because it's become it's a little more sweeter than the cold one. Interesting little take on, on the uh, tomato cucumber salad that people like. I like that. With the tempura, the spicy tempura. Mm -hmm. So fortunate to have great produce where you're located in you know, southern New Jersey. And what do they call that uh, state? Oh, someone said the Garden State? Yeah. <laughs> they don't say that about Delaware. Not that, you know, <laughs> small one. other attributes. Yeah, Delaware's good. I love Delaware. I, love, I was in Delaware for a while. I loved it. Mm -hmm. People are fantastic. Small state. Everybody knows everybody. Mm -hmm. Almost like a small town. Yeah, it's a small town. You, you know. You buy a cat, everybody knows their name the next day. I love Come how you're fluffy. decorating the plate like that, Tony, with such care. Yeah, a big rough guy like me can be so delicate. Very delicate. Well, I wear ladies' underwear when I plate up <laughs> things like this. And it just helps it out, you know? Joe is just so it. used to this. <laughs> yeah, we all have to wear ladies' underwear when we uh, plate up food. It's part of the requirement. They have to strip down before they come in. Joe, is this what you have to put up with on a daily basis? Uh, he kind of likes it. He kind of likes kinda it. Like the ladies' underwear Actually, or the putting Joe, up with it? Joe's, <laughs> Joe shops at Victoria's Secret. I just go like the Kmart. We bear all here on the chef's yeah. kitchen. There are no secrets between our chefs. <laughs> Now that's what I used to say. I used to say that to the guys that they have to be a little bit more, you know, feminine. Outgoing. A little bit more feminine when they play it up. They can't be so, they're not at, you know, not at the construction site, you know, get those claws off there and be more a little delicate. I like the idea of how you're doing the tempura, how you slice the tilapia in small right. little pieces yep. like that. Actually, it's easier to handle mm -hmm. too in the frying oil. And, yep, and then we're gonna put this sriracha. Open that puff pastry, like a sandwich. That looks beautiful, Tony. Thank you, love. It really does. Now we're gonna make our salad. You need a bowl, Joe? And we still have the mahi-mahi to go. Yes. Okay, put your greens in there and season it up. With your uh, asparagus. So how are we co cooking this? Just pan I cook it about 70% on one side, mm -hmm. and then throw some butter in it, and then flip it over, and then finish it like that. Okay. So. We'll be right back with more from Rostelli Direct. You can now, at home, order the same steak, seafood, pork, veal, lamb, poultry that the finest steak houses, seafood houses, and poultry houses around the world are ordering from us for the last 35 years. Okay, Tony, so our mahi-mahi is coming along yes. right here. It's a few minutes. You said it was you said about 70% on one side Try like to, to cook it? Yeah. You want to really focus on the crust. So here's the salad that we're going to do right here. Okay. And just a little asparagus, mushrooms. Wild mushrooms. And again with your vinaigrette that it's topped with? Yep, sage vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. This is a really nice light roll you mm -hmm. have with it's that. It's a puff pastry. Okie dokie. Beautiful. Fantastic. You flip the fish over. Like this. And Mani is a nice substantial fish and it has a steak-like quality. It's a friendly fish that people find not so aggressive, not so fishy. Mm -hmm. It's a little dense. The same nice decorating techniques that, I try. that I Tony try. has taught you earlier. I also showed him how to drink a Manhattan the other day. <laughs> he liked to start, the finish was a little. The finish was a little rough? Yeah, the next day. There you go. That is beautiful. It's a salad. Especially with the flowers. Yeah, it's good. Look at this tasting table. Your Yum, Eugene, huh? Victor, look at this. Let's see, I think I am going to go for the clams over here. And that homemade pasta sounded so good, Tony, when you were describing it to me. Muscles rock. <laughs> I can get a piece of it here. Mm. I'm going into the pasta. Yeah, and I'm, the pasta's great, and the tilapia. I would like also. The interesting thing about this seafood is it's not overly fishy. You know how uh -oh. seafood in a, in a grocery store, you can really taste that I fishy that. taste, which is so unappealing. This mm. Ristelli seafood is just so incredibly fresh. The broccoli rub, the pasta, yeah, the clams, mm. forget about it. Gentlemen, try that. The tilapia is so good. I don't want to double dip, so I'm going with the other end. Of double it. dip. We're all family here. That's We're okay. Right. okay. How many kids came in your family? family? I'm the youngest of three. And you never double dipped when you were a kid? You were like, <laughs> grabbing with hands and everything I, I like that? I drank milk out of the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old school style, right? 
Salute. How is this wine with this food, Eugene? It's with perfect. The uh, uh, this wine, again, can go with all four of these dishes, and uh, it's a perfect match. Uh, a, a great experience to get uh, gourmet wine and food directly to your door. The whole, the whole complete package. The whole complete right, package. From right from wine to, to fish how, to how meats. How easy is that? It's so easy. It's what so a easy. What a package. Can, can you deliver a woman too? Because oh, I mean, then that would be the. We're working. That on. really we're is. Working. The <laughs> Not for me though. Organic. Fact. I would like an organic. <laughs> organic. Woman, yes. Let's cheers to a wonderful <laughs> day on the Chef's absolutely. Kitchen and Ristelli Foods. Tony, thanks. Mom. And fabulous wine. Thanks for making it. Thank you, Tony Clark. Ristelli Direct knows you're busy. That's why we make it convenient for you to shop with just a click or call. Now restaurant quality steaks, seafood, chicken and pork selections, and even dessert can be delivered to your door in resealable, individually portioned packages. This is a great idea for gifts, parties, or for that fabulous dining out experience in your own home. Whether it's for a birthday, holiday, or special event, Ristelli Direct delivers convenience and quality whenever you want. Check out our gift packages and special offers at RistelliDirect.com today. Cooked something from the show? Went to a restaurant that you loved? Found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of The Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. Tony Clark is back. This Jersey boy is turning out his culinary creations at the Old Grange by Tony Clark and Kate May. Superlative food, excellent service, and a house vineyard make this a foodie's dream. Craft services provided by Garces Trading Company, a European-style gourmet market where you can enjoy delicious bistro fare in a bright, airy setting. Flowers on the set provided by Nature's Gallery Florist, distinctive floral arrangements with European flair. Stelly products, the best. It made it so easy, so simple, and so right. I mean, the flavor is right there. Thanks for doing the job for me.